Bucks of Big E in the American West. SMU takes on Navy. Three teams tied atop one of the best divisions in college football. The stakes are high in this one, my friend, and the emotion peaked for Navy with senior day for 32 midship. It'll be the 21st all-time meeting. SMU won the toss, elected to receive, so Navy will kick. C.J. Sanders, he's dangerous. Few take it that deep in the kick return game in college football, but he can! Sanders, pass Nichols! C.J. Sanders, sixth career return for a touchdown, 100 yards. And a 98-yard kick return touchdown last year, 100 here. Well, if you're into answers, if you're one of those guys that always has an answer and always talks back, because this is their talk back. Tennessee to overcompensate. And Nichols, the calm drill. Bouchelle, crochet wide open. Crochet outside, and he's in. Touchdown SMU, James Crochet. A receiving touchdown in 10 straight games, extending his own program and conference record. Xavier Jones shedding hits, getting blocks, and standing up. 10-yard TD and a lightning quick drive for the Mustangs on the short field. Perry over the top, the launch, and he's in. Touchdown, David. They send this one on the ground. He duped the Navy defense, and it's Nichols who helps him out of bounds. Supreme field position for the Mustangs. Perry finds Mitchell. Touchdown! Yes, the Navy showing pressure against five wide. They're going to bring it. They get a runner. And Rice has room. See Navy it. gambles. SMU wins. 61 yards. And the first touchdown for the freshman. I mean, what's closer, those standings or the way this game has been played? What a, what a contrast first half to second half for Navy. Williams, nothing. What a great job of tackling by Brandon Stevens. Maybe he struggled on third down today, but Perry's got space. Malcolm Perry. Third down. How about a touchdown? And now time for the Navy alma mater, the Navy blue and gold. Well, you know, um, you got to give Navy a lot of credit. I thought they did a did a really good job of, of you know making adjustments, obviously in the second half, and, and we did a did a really poor job of, of making adjustments. And you know, the thing we didn't do at all tonight, we had we had some good matchups um, all night, you know, um, and we just didn't make any plays. You know, we just uh, we didn't make great throws or we didn't make catches, and you know, and against a good football team, you have to make those kind of plays. So, all right, thank you. Thank you. When we walk into Park Place, it was a magic moment. The experience made me feel special, like I was just part of the family. My wife and I have never been treated with such respect and professionalism before in the car buying experience. We have all the SMU contingent, coaches' wives, and a lot of different partners from the community here to help us to give Thanksgiving meals to people in southern Dallas. Um, it's something Sunny and I are super passionate about. We want to give to Dallas as much as we can, especially Southern Dallas. It's 
um, a big part of Sunny's heart and mine as well. So we are excited and, and feel really blessed to be able to give away today. Sunny and I just, you know, when we first got the job at SMU, we wanted to really immediately put our feet on the ground and get involved in middle schools and elementary schools and different community partners in Southern Dallas to really make an impact. And so, you know, reaching out to different schools and community partners, we decided that this would be a great way for us to really get our feet on the ground in Southern Dallas and be able to give back at a time where people deserve to have a Thanksgiving meal and we know that they're in need, so it was our pleasure to be able to give it to them. Pony up. Are you interested in a career that builds healthier communities? Southern Methodist University's Master of Science degree in Health Promotion Management is dedicated to training leaders in health consulting, employee wellness, and population health. In this collaborative program, students learn from expert faculty in the Simmons School of Education and Human Development and the nationally ranked Cox School of Business. With evening classes, experienced faculty in small class sizes, students receive innovative training to create healthcare solutions. Join us and spread the health. Xavier Jones, running back, SMU. James Prochet, the second wide receiver, SMU. Delonte Scott, defensive end, SMU. Pono Davis, defensive tackle, SMU. Rodney Clemens, safety, SMU. One memory that I just can't forget, and like I, I knew that this program was was on the way to being great was we were playing TCU this year, and um, we were back then, probably like at the minus 15 and we snapped the ball over over our head and we had to fall on the ball. We had to punt from like our two yard line. I've never seen a group so strong get together on the sideline and say, we're good, you know, we're fine. The defense gonna get a stop, we got y'all, we got y'all. And, and like right there, I knew, okay, the defense gonna get a stop and we're gonna win and we're gonna finally get bring that skillet back to Dallas, Texas. And the defense went out there, shut those boys out, and we won that game. And I can think about all the emotions that we were going through our head as I held that skillet. And it was it was a, it was me, James, Rodney, and Delonte, and Free. And we were all there, and we were just hugging each other, saying, "Man, we finally did it. We finally did it." And all of us was crying, like just being able to to share that moment with the people I grinded with, who were who were here with me when we were two and 10 and five and five and not making a bowl game and not having no fans here. Like once we did that, I knew that this team would be special, man. We had we have some guys that have like completely bought in and um, we don't have to, to beg anybody to do anything anymore. We come in each day and we work. That's the standard now, you know? So anybody else coming into SMU, they'll know we work. My favorite play, would have to be um, well, on this field. Have to be my sure, junior year. Uh, we're playing UCF here. I got a big sack at like the 50 yard line, and uh, it was like I was finally figuring out how to play football at the collegiate level. And uh, you know, that was just a big game for me. That was a really special moment. I remember Cincinnati at Cincinnati when I uh, in 2017 year. Uh, that was a big one. It was their senior game, and the stadium was packed, and it was loud, and we ended up winning in triple overtime. We had a defensive turnover to win the game, and that was just amazing. That was, that was something I don't think I've ever experienced, where the, the crowd went absolutely silent, and uh, just being able to rush the field and, and uh, win away on somebody's senior game is, is, is pretty amazing. Tulsa, game when we catch three overtimes, three overtimes, uh, and that's something you dream about as a wide receiver, you know, a walk-off game winner, and uh, the way we did it, uh, come, being down 21 in the fourth, having to score three touchdowns to win the game, and I'm just, 
it, like I, I, I spoke on culture a little bit earlier, man. And that's just kind of, it shows uh, what we've been through as a team, the kind of team we are. So that was, that was my favorite moment. I've never actually experienced anything like that. So that was, that was, that was amazing. So my favorite play would have to be uh, last year against Tulsa. That day was the same day my cousin had passed away a year ago, and his birthday was that day. And I had a little chat with him. I was like, it's your birthday today, and I miss you, and I love you, and I'm gonna get you a touchdown today, just for you, for your birthday. I've never scored in my entire career. Tulsa was kicking a field goal, and I know he was looking down on me. They said hut, and I came through and blocked the field goal, picked it up and scored. And as I'm picking the ball up and running, I'm just thinking to myself, like, this, this is actually happening. Like, I talked about this with him before the game. And running to the end zone, you know, we were down and I just scored. But I wasn't even thinking about the score at that time. I was just thinking about him. And it was, that's probably the craziest moment I've ever had in sports or anything in my life. Just to talk about something and never had that happen before. Once I crossed that end zone, I just broke down because I thought about him, man. That is my favorite moment and most important play to me in my career. Just to think about this Saturday, uh, it's been my last time playing at Ford Stadium. Uh, it's kind of bittersweet. I know the atmosphere would be crazy. Um, I'm definitely gonna cherish this moment. I'd be super emotional, I am. But uh, I'm just happy, I just think about the first, my first touchdown here being my true freshman year, playing against a ranked Baylor team and just being so young and thinking that I have so much time here at SMU and just think about how fast it flew by is like kind of crazy to me. But trust me, it's not a memory I didn't forget on this field and um, it will be missed. And I was talking to my coach yesterday. Um, he was telling me that you know, after after Saturday, we have 15 more practices before a bowl game, and that kind of made me excited. That kind of made me happy a little bit because 15 seems like it's it's a lot, and I just know that it's more time that I can spend with my brothers before we depart ways. And I mean, I'm just I'm just ready to to cherish this moment with with my senior class and my teammates and my coaches, and uh, we gonna get these 10 wins here. Uh, knowing I'm be uh, playing my last game here is uh, gonna be pretty emotional. Uh, might not be on the exterior crying or anything, but uh, on the inside it's gonna be uh, gonna be pretty emotional. Just knowing the fact that uh, where I started here, uh, the young man coming in here, uh, wet behind the ears and leaving a man, uh, 23 years old, uh, the growth and the journey um, here has been amazing. Uh, it's gonna I've learned lessons that uh, I'll take far beyond this football field, uh, teaching my children and uh, uh, lessons that I've te te teaching my brothers and my family, um, lessons that I've uh, instilled in my brand. So it's, uh, it's gonna be exciting. So starters, playing for SMU is, is really big for me, especially the kid that literally grew up all over Dallas. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad I finally got to wear that, that, uh, that Dallas across my chest, man. And, you know, I'm representing it really well because it, it Playing for Dallas means a lot to me, so I'm real happy I got to do that. Uh, and I get to finish my college career here too, so. It means a lot to be playing my final SMU game here at Ford Stadium. Uh, it means a lot just because coming from Hawaii and then junior college and then finally ending up at SMU, uh, it's, it's, been, it's been amazing. Uh, ever since I've got here, it's been nothing but blessings. And uh, just, Going through a lot here with all these guys and my teammates, uh, who, are, who are now I can call brothers. Uh, it's it's been an amazing ride. And, uh, ending it here is a big deal. It means a lot just being able to come back and call Ford Stadium home. Um, and it's just been been an amazing ride. And it's been it's been crazy. We we came here with like 30 people signed and. It's, it's a few of us left, but the guys that we uh, that stayed here, you know, through everything, I feel like we're being rewarded for all the hard work that we put in.